Hi, I'm Mortgage Mark, and let's talk about the difference between a 30-year and a 15-year fixed-rate mortgage. Um, I get this question a lot. Should somebody, you know, they want to look at numbers both ways, and at the end of the day, I have a personal opinion, not so much professional. They actually, I have both opinions, truthfully, but they will contradict each other. Uh, personally, I'm a very big fan of the 30-year mortgage. The rate will be anywhere from a half point to a full point higher than that of a 15-year, so yes, you will pay more interest. And yes, it is twice the length and duration. The reason why I advocate the 30 years so much more is because it gives you flexibility. If you wanted to, and you can download our worksheet or ask us, we'll email it to you. But if you did a 30 year amortization worksheet and you figured out the difference, a couple hundred bucks a month, whatever the difference is in payment compared to a 15 year, and you put that in it for every single month, it's like 16.8 years, somewhere around then. It's like 16.5 to 17 years total for the mortgage. So yes, in theory, if you wanted to do the 30 year and paid off like at 15, it'll only add an extra year and a half over a decade and a half. So for me to not have that absolute mandatory higher payment, it just gives you that flexibility. Now truth be told, even then I wouldn't put that extra money towards the, the payment every month. Uh, most folks probably aren't disciplined enough anyway. So if you took that cash and did it maybe once a year, you can run those numbers with our worksheets as well, but you'll find that it ends up paying off like maybe in less than 20 years. It's like 18 or 19, depends on loan amounts, interest rates, but the point is you can pay it off aggressively at any time. So to do the 15, you're just on the hook for it. Uh, it does happen on occasion where folks call us and they refinance just to get off the 15 year. Twist my arm, we get paid to do loans. So happy to help, but at the end of the day, uh, these are folks that oftentimes were on the fence, chose the 15 year, and then life happens. Kids go to college, maybe they need a new car. Um, somebody decides to stay home and not work anymore. Things like that create the need for that refinance. So while I get paid to do loans, I'd rather not do one unnecessarily. So I would advocate the 15, or pardon me, advocate the 30 year over the 15. Now that said, there are just different strokes, different folks, different stages of life, things of that nature. 15 years awesome. You're going to save more interest. It's set it and forget it. It's automatic. You know it's going to get done. So if you're on the fence, my two cents personally says to take the 30. Uh, certainly run the numbers. Do what's right for you guys. It's You're the one making the payments, not me. So do what's right for you and your family and what makes you feel comfortable. Thank you for your time and call me if you have any other questions.